Hello and welcome. This has been requested many times. Super, we want to have a look at your knife collection. We want to see it, how, how you store your knives. First things first, bit of housekeeping. This is going to be quite a wobbly video because I'm just holding the camera. I'm sorry if you get upset about that. Go and watch another video. I'm not going to put it on a tripod for this. I just I'd have to keep moving the tripod and things like that so you're just gonna have to bear with me holding the camera with my left hand because I'd rather open the drawers and flip open a few knives yeah I can probably do that with my left hand but some knives maybe not so that's a bit of housekeeping second thing I've been requested to do this video for so long um, and finally I'm gonna bring this to you I have to say, it's not the most uh, extravagant setup. It's literally what I've got at the moment, and uh, what I will be doing is getting some Dodec Max Position dodecapods and some Pelly cases to put to keep them a bit safer. But knives are here; they're in these drawers and other drawers, and they're there. Quick access, I can use them. I'm not going to start putting knives in safe vaults and, and keeping them locked away because and then get them out to you know to make me feel happy or anything like that. I I try and use them all first and foremost. I do keep a few a few safe but I like them readily available. So got my watch collection in there. If you want me to do show you my watch collection, I'll do it. We'll start with this first drawer. This is a very nice drawer. It has all the Spyderco value range. So the Ambitious, the... R r oh, what's the word? Oh, totally forgotten. I'm going to have to look up that word. Well, how embarrassing was that? I had to go and watch one of my own videos to find out what that bloody knife was. Sorry about that. That's the persistence. <laughs> Very embarrassing. Tenacious, uh, the the black edition, or the ninja edition of the uh, Tenacious. It's a little bit more expensive. Well, here in the UK it is anyway. I don't know in other places. This is the, the Resilience. It's a complete potato murderer. I still have yet to do a video about that, and I, I will do it. And I'll probably do one with the Delicate, well, maybe not the Delicate, but the, the Endurers, because they're very good food prep kind of knives. Don't know why I've got him in here, but the Cold Steel Recon 1, very satisfying lockup. Oh, it's just my go-to kind of, you know, defensive knife. I wouldn't suggest you do that, what I just did, but because uh, you, you may cause yourself injury because of it. Well, anyway, uh, so this is kind of like my Spyderco value range and the Got the Delicas, two Delicas, and the Endurers in here. I love this Poo Brown Endura. I really do love it. But uh, I, I, I would like to get this whole drawer filled out with Delicas and Endurers. Nice rainbow pattern. I don't know. But uh, and then in these uh, little uh, bags are the Benchmade's Benchmade Mini Griptilian and a Griptilian. Do you want me to take them out? They're black and they've got satin blades. You've seen them before. I'm not going to take them out. I made my decision already. Second draw down. Some interesting... Hopefully I haven't destroyed one of my models there. Anyway. Interesting knives in this drawer. I've got my, my Kershaws at the bottom. Starting with, with the nicest. The Kershaw Leak Damascus Blade Steel, that's a plus 100 knife. And I will say this throughout the review, like the, the plus 100s and things. Well, it's not really, really a review, it's, it's just a, a showcase. Uh, the OD1, I think that one is, it's very nice. And then a cheaper knife, oh they're in the wrong order, because I just did a Versus video. Skyline, Cryo, or the... Uh, Metal turd, as some people call it, but I don't have a problem with it. I think it's quite decent. Uh, the chill and the the chode of a knife, the uh, one ton. It's a bit of a chode of a knife. 
some CRKTs on this line. I haven't got them ordered in any particular order, just, just what they are. There's the uh, CRKT Persian, very blinged up knife, but it's really cheap, don't let it fool you. The Leong Ma, the uh, UK legal knife that he's designed. The Swindle, I want to get the other Swindle. If you listen to CRKT, you still need to send me that one. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Uh, that would be very nice because I would do a, a review and everything, but uh, if not, I'll just purchase it, obviously, um, like all of these. But uh, I, I really like the Swindle. It's uh, good for CRKT that um, Ken Onion's got, gone over there. I don't know for how long, but he just has. The Otanashi no Ken. Turbo penetration for this one. It really is a uh, very understated knife, but uh, that can penetrate a lot. So I love the neutral handle scales on that one. I hope this is what you were kind of looking for in terms of my, my collection, me going through each knife. But uh, the Marta Razor, not a huge fan of this one anymore. The steel's let me down a few times, and it, you know, it's locked, but it's got this extra lock, and it just wobbles about. And to be honest, I'd rather just use a fixed blade or pull out the pole force because uh, nothing has beaten that yet. Uh, in the back here I've got two Ontario Rat 1s. I'm, yeah, I'm holding it with my right hand now, a bit strange. but um, So the uh, black coated or black, well except for the liners, black bladed one and uh, a normal satin one. I might get rid of uh, one of them, I'm not sure. And then we've got this one which I haven't, don't think I've put up a review up of yet, which is a bit strange. I, lo I love the pocket clip, but this is the half ton, and they do a they do a three quarter ton, which I will get eventually. But all right, yeah, reflection things just just from the iPad, so I'm gonna have to move that out of the way while I do the rest of this. So in here at the bottom, I probably should have moved all these models out of the way. I wasn't that prepared. I just thought I'd got the camera, so I'll do it. It, down here we've got the Victorinoxes, the Victorinox pen knives, useful to keep a bit of information there as well. Re this is the, in here this is the Victorinox Swiss Champ, I love the leather, the leather cases, if you can try and get a leather case for all of them because the really does protect them and they're just amazing cases anyway, for, for a tenner you can't go wrong. Uh, I think that's just the Champ, um, it's just the Spartan, Solo, Farmer, Soldier. The new soldier, two CRKT slippets, my only case knife. I will get some more, but I'm not going to be all Pokemon trainering about it and try and catch them all because uh, they just cost over here they're like 50, 60 pound, and th there's hundreds of, C of uh, case knives, isn't there? This is a little Gerber EAB utility tool locking. It's good for uh, carpets and things like that. Uh, some more slippets. That book. Solo, I think it is, or that's a very nice knife that's understated. Uh, some classics, uh, the incredibly not very good Sog Micron, complete waste of money. Leatherman Squirt, that is worth a squirt, it's uh, very decent. The Leatherman tools are quite over expensive anyway, in my opinion. But my only bird knife, I will be getting some more, not in not a very long time. And the Kershaw Whiskey Gap, I don't know what that's doing down there. Then I've got, what, what's going on here? Oh yeah, that's the little uh, Schweppes uh, keychain tool thing, or little pen knife. This actually does go back a fair bit, so just uh, do, stay with me a second while I move this out a bit. There you go, I've got one of my oldest knives that I bought. It's um, one of the first knives I bought. It's okay. I don't know what it is, it's like a neat or neate or something, I don't know. I've got a spare a spare bug and a spare grasshopper, I think. A Gerber Remix Tactical and the Gerber DMF, they live in here, right down at the bottom. Not that I don't use these knives, I just uh, out of sight, out of mind, I suppose. Right, now we'll move over to the the other drawers, which are just here. I'll move this uh, microphone out of the way. There we go. I've also got my rulers here for, the, for my measurements. I've got my digital calipers um, near, near my toolbox underneath the table. So uh, that 
they're handy when I want to take measurements of the thickness of knives. So these uh, drawers, uh, camera loop usually sits on here with the Spyderco mat. So uh, I've got my, my books there where I keep all my uh, knife information and things. But uh, so we'll go through these uh, three these from the top. So the top drawer, a, there is plenty of knives there. Probably about 300, 400 quid's worth of knives. It's about 500, 600, no, 600 dollars, 607 dollars. So yeah, I, d I do like my knives, but uh, these are all my these are all UK legal in here. So I've got the Squeak, the Pingo. Uh, UK PK uh, Saber Grind, Flat Grind, uh, Bug, Honey Bee, Grasshopper, Kiwi. That's a really nice uh, draw. That whenever I go out, I always look in that one. Here, uh, this is a lovely, lovely draw. Again, here, this is probably uh, another 400 odd quid draw on three knives, so it's quite expensive. Um, so again, this is six and seven dollars just in, in one little draw. But uh, I really like this drawer. This is like my military drawer. Military and then two paramilitaries, twos. And here, this is one of my favourite drawers to be honest. I've got my Borka uh, Henny Hane CDC Cox limited edition in there. And then I've got my three sprint runs from 2013. I mean, I've only been collecting from since. Uh, officially since uh, March or April last year in 2012 so this is all from about a year and a half I mean I seriously started collecting about October November last year so in theory this is only about uh, 10 or 11 months so not even a year of serious collecting um, but recently over the past couple of months I've been buying been buying the Warhammers, and you know that's they're a lot of money, and uh, and I've been buying lots of other things. So uh, knives, knives over the past couple of months have been put on a back burner, really, unfortunately. But these are my three sp sprint runs. I've got the Spyderco uh, Super Blue, Cali Three Super Super Blue, the Calypso, and the Wayne Goddard. Very very nice knives. Very limited edition. Only a thousand of each, and I think there's only a hundred of them in in the world. So. That's one of my favourite drawers. And then down on then below that is an, this is my second favourite drawer. It has my Spyderco UKPK Titanium. I should really nickname this the Titanium drawer and uh, actually colour it grey or something. But uh, so we've got the UKPK Titanium, the Sage 2, uh, the Sage 1 in carbon fibre, and then we've got my, my newest knife. I don't know when this video has come out, but this is the Maxpedition Excelsa. Um, it's uh, it's a good knife for that for their second effort. It really is. Uh, D2 tool steel and things. Uh, this is my Borka Borka box or Borka drawer. Got the Subcon 42 in titanium, the Trans 42 UK legal, and the XS. All those three are legal. Um, the XS is is a monster of a knife um, for for being legal. It's also quite hard to to deploy but there we go and then I've got another titanium so really I should put it up there but I want to keep all the bulkers together this is a titan uh, for I think 40 or 50 quid 440c and titanium hand scales you can't go wrong with that one it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good knife and good good blade shape I like that one and then finally in this last little drawer I've got got my camera I take my pictures I've got a tape measure for larger knives I've got SD cards and um, a little spider coat stand and my USB card and I've got my torch screwdriver which is separate from my my toolkit so that is uh, that is those drawers and uh, onto my fixed blades so I'm just going to go across this area into another area and uh, show you the fixed blades and where they live and uh, they're in a bit of a mess or, so um, bear, bear with me with that um, so off I go in part two Okay, yeah, this is part two, and we're kind of in a in another drawer here. Uh, this is uh, what's going on. I mean, I do have uh, axes and knives dotted around all over the all over the place, but this is uh, kind of the sec the third main area or drawer. I have a lot of uh, knives and tools in. 
I've got this handy anyway on a, on a strap this uh, Phoenix LD15 or LD12 I can't remember but it's a very decent uh, decent torch I've got uh, light fuel, the lighters, some zippos in there some blue lube, another tape measure I've got, this is where the pole force lives and it's kind of my go-to knife a lot of the time got Bear Grylls knife hiding in there um, my charge TTI I've got the nice uh, Zippo 1940 lighter hopefully it didn't set fire to myself I think I've got some oil in there as well just in case yeah Leatherman charge in there and the, the Spartan Corsi or Spartan lives there as well uh, I've got the SOG just nestling on there the SOG Jungle Primitive I mean I would love a huge rack or magnetic rack that we all juggle knives has but uh, I've only been collecting for less than a year so I haven't yet sorted anything like that out um, but I will I will as you follow me through my channel and progress I'm making and things SOG uh, seal pup also lives in here it's, uh, it's another go to fixed blade knife you can depend on this one it's uh, very decent for any kind of uh, thing that you want to ask for it really so that, that lives in there one of my favourite if, if not the favourite fixed blade knife I have Spyderco Shemprock for £130 you can't go wrong you really can't full tang skeletonized in that tang as well might I add uh, Shemprock VG10 made in uh, Sexy City well Sexy City Is it so? Yeah, sexy city. There we go. So, uh, don't worry, I'm not just throwing these at my feet or anything. I am putting them somewhere. Also, got my tomahawk, my CRKT um, Kanji T Hawk, uh, SK5 carbon steel. Very nice go to uh, tool that you can throw. I'll leave it at that and the, the pole, pole force carry case I mean I, I suppose I should really put the pole force in there to give it a bit more protection but the thing's built like a tank anyway does it really need more protection? I don't know, it's up to you I've got a load of cleaning cloths and things I've got an Oakley uh, cleaning rag I think they cost about 10 or 15 quid but they're really really worth it I mean if you haven't got one even if you haven't got a pair of Oakleys get one because one of those microfiber cloths it, it's much much better than than the, uh, the you know the cloth cases that they come in. This is a pr very very decent um, cloth for for any eyewear. I I just want to sell that because it's bloody good. Another another very nice uh, fiber cloth thing. I've got a cheapo uh, cheapo LED headlamp. Bit redundant because I got that Phoenix uh, headlamp. I've got these, <laughs> which are pretty uh, pretty funky. Because you can put them on top of the, uh, a bit strange, but you can put them on top of the uh, torch, and then you've got kind of like a, an instant uh, lightsaber or a traffic wand. They're useful, especially the white one in a tent. If you want to have it as a, it changes the ambiance really, uh, or the luminescence really. The, you know where I'm coming from. Instead of being it single direction, it 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 spreads the light. In, in an area disperses it's like a light disperser I've got the minigun I mean the uh, Prometheus uh, torch as I nickname it I'm not going to put it too bright but that was just the second setting um, but it is a very very decent torch uh, or flashlight as, as you may call it yes it does get hot but it's a Phoenix TK45 runs on eight batteries put it this way I've had it nearly a year no, I've had it over a year and I haven't had to replace the, the eight AA batteries in it at all yet, uh, which is excellent. If you were running rechargeable ones, uh, you'd get even more power outage and uh, you, you'd probably have to not replace them e e as, as much either. Uh, I've got a little uh, case, a little case for the, for the Leatherman Juice S2. don't know why I got it, because I keep the Juice S2... Um, in a different area, but uh, that lives in there. 
got another cloth for like an i iPhone or iPad cloth. I've got this uh, Bear Grylls Ultimate Knife that lives in there as well. I've got another Phoenix, a cheapo Phoenix, an E21. I've got the Mora uh, Mora Bushcraft Black. It's a nice knife. That's bushcrafting knife. So that's where my kind of like my all, well, most of my outdoor gear lives in, in this in this area or drawer. Uh, I've got another little hatchet or tomahawk, Fiskars X5. I will be doing reviews on all these uh, axes this month in October, October and November. Uh, it seems like an appropriate time to do it when you're cutting logs for the winter. I mean, you'd probably be doing that in the summer, wouldn't you? But oh well, because then it gives it gives them time to dry. But but there we go. That's that. I've got an old camera and an old pair of binoculars. They're just I don't use them at all. I've got the big policeman's uh, mag light there, and I've got this one of my favourite uh, flashlights, Phoenix LD22. If you can get one, get the the most updated version because they are they just can't be beaten uh, for a double double a double double a battery flashlight it's uh, excellent and this is just the case for the LD12 I think and so I've got all the other mag lights in there and I've got this cheapo this cheapo uh, light from B&Q or something I can't remember but that that lives in there as well so that's that's this drawer where I keep uh, most of my fixed bladed knives yes there's I haven't got the huge axes and things in here I haven't got the zombie war sword or the bowie so I'll leave that to your imagination where they're left, um, uh, arms reach normally, but uh, that's that's my whole knife collection and some fixed blade knives and some flashlights and things. So this was a request and like I've said before, if you do have a request, um, put it in the comments or something or PM me and I will do my very best to fulfil that. It's kind of a, a request promise because uh, I do enjoy making these videos uh, and if I can help you guys and girls out with um, gear and reviews and things like that I will do that so thank you for joining me today thanks for the request or requests all of you people that did did request them as I say it's not the most elaborate um, area to keep the collection in but uh, I will be upgrading it you know within the next couple of months so I may do an update video uh, on that but uh, thanks for joining me please do comment rate and subscribe as normal and uh, take care